if South Carolina beats Clemson and Clemson and A&M win the conferences, how can you leave South Carolina out easily? Because you put Alabama or Ole Miss in and over them because they both beat South Carolina. Yeah. That's that's South how, Carolina. They're blocked. South Carolina is blocked completely, even though I think that they're playing the best football of the three. But you know what, Andy? You know, I, I, people have been making the point that Ole Miss was playing against a Florida team that is much better than their record. Like, I don't know. I'm sure you saw a lot of that having been at the game. I was at the game. They're, they're definitely yeah. better than their record. They're definitely better than the team we saw against Miami early in the season. But it's still the same people. It also doesn't matter. Like, that happens yeah. all the time to everybody. Sometimes you play teams on their best day. Sometimes you play teams on their worst day. You play the team, and the team is who their record says there is. You don't get a benefit. Like, I, I think the committee's like, yeah, well, we'll take into account that that Florida team is playing much better than they did when they played Miami. It's like, that's bullshit. Like, that's not how it works. Yeah. Because you then you have to USC do that USC and ATL is not giving up here. Even though South Carolina beat the SEC and ACC champs in the scenario that it's A&M and Clemson as the champions. Yes, even though, because Ole Miss and Alabama beat South Carolina. So they would get in over South Carolina. Yeah. I and I, it's like I feel for the South Carolina fans because I feel like the deserving aspect of this, like South Carolina has a case, um, especially if that situation comes through. But any more than it doesn't matter how good Florida is in the moment, it also doesn't really matter how good South Carolina is in the moment because you are what your resume says that you are. And your resume, I think a lot of times is a pretty nice clue into what you might be susceptible to seeing out of that team again in the future. So, uh, you know, it, it's a tough break, but, you know, it's not a feel good system. And at times teams that we think are worthy are going to get in. And at time, like, like for instance, like the South Carolina. Sailor Joe says came very close to beating Alabama and LSU. They really should have, they should have, but they didn't. And they didn't come close at all to beating Ole Miss. And so if you're making that determination, I think probably Ole Miss is who you pick. I mean, if I had to pick between Ole Miss and Alabama, I would take Ole Miss, which is, and that's precisely the reason why I probably could have left them off the list. But again, there's too much craziness that could still happen. And it's just impossible. I, I would Brett, not. Brett my says life South Carolina in gets in if Tennessee and Alabama both lose. That's a, well, listen, that's a distinct possibility that Tennessee and Alabama would both lose. But Ole Miss would get in the top, in that case because yeah. Ole Miss beat South Carolina twenty seven to three in Columbia. I feel like you're like Dikembe Mutombo in his prime in the paint, and there's a bunch of people like throwing South Carolina lobs up at the hoop, and you're just like smashing it down. Right this in hurts my face. heart as someone who grew up a South Carolina fan, Ari. Like now, if you if you're the Gamecocks, okay, here's what you need. This will work. I, I'll give you one that works. You want. Syracuse to beat Miami, so Clemson can go to the ACC championship game after you beat them. So you got to beat Clemson. Clemson goes to the ACC championship game, wins the ACC. That's going to make the ACC a one-bid league. You need Tennessee to lose to Vandy. You need Alabama to lose to Auburn, and you need Ole Miss to lose the Egg Bowl. Miss to lose the Egg Bowl, yeah. If Ole Miss loses the Egg Bowl and Alabama loses Auburn, now, you're, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now you got a shot. The show is brought to you by Panini America, makers of the most collectible sports cards on the planet. The Luminance Football Card Series features NIL autograph cards from players including Arch Manning, Quinn Ewers, Cam Moore, Jalen Milrow, Dylan Raiola, DJ Lagway, and Luther Burden. To start collecting, visit PaniniAmerica.net. And Ari, I have a question for you because I have this card that I pulled. This is the 2024 Panini Gold Standard Mystery Rookie Redemption. So I have a... a Rookie number two, essentially, is what it says on the back. And if I scratch this off, I then go to the website to redeem it. Do I need to redeem this? Or do I keep it this way and try to swap it with somebody or try to sell it to somebody like this? What is my better, better play here? It's your preference. So what's happening right now with the 2024 year is Caleb Williams and some of the other rookies are not in the product yet, but they might be in the product later. So what people are doing is they're either redeeming it and taking their, their chances and the higher the number on the card, rookie number two, rookie number one, people are assuming that that means it's a higher chance of that being a really good rookie. That's worth a lot. So, yeah. 
It is so funny at the end of the year how like the quality losses that are propping you up also become the teams that you need to lose. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's yeah. like then all of a sudden those losses look worse, but it still what? helps you. Why are we like, rooting like, for them all season? What's what's yeah, going on? <laughs> yeah, and then the teams that you're rooting for to prop you up are the teams that eventually hold you out. But it's just a, it's a weird system, and you know what? Like I want South Carolina to get in. I think it would be really fun to see Sellers cook out there. But you have to draw the line somewhere. You you, you just do. And you know, Richard, maybe in five out years, of conference I'm... schedule between Ole Miss and South Carolina, I don't have to because they played on the field and one kicked the crap out of the other. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. If they have the same record, they're going to take the one that won twenty-seven to three on the road. I yeah. don't know how to. The fact that it was on the road to make too that is, any better. Is a real. Real kick in the knackers there, bud. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't see that happening. So yeah. we spend a lot of time on that, but that's just not going to happen. But I, I do think it's interesting that like in the midst of a chaotic weekend, we were unable to definitively eliminate anybody who was alive a week ago. So, and then it's like also too. Hold on, Brett's paid like again, tonight. and he's not okay. giving up. He's Ole Miss losses player. are worse to Florida LSU. Could take. South Carolina got destroyed by Ole Miss. Guys, this isn't that hard. Stop making it harder than it needs to be. I hope he comes back with another $1.99 for another argument. I, I want to see what he's got. I mean, these people, uh, they're clever. Oh, I, 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 I like it. Andy refuses well, and to acknowledge just... the committee criteria and metric. The committee... It's in the criteria if you have a head-to-head -head and they have the same record. You should probably use the head-to-head. -head. That's what they would do in this case. Root for Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl, guys. That's all I got to say. The spread of that game is 26 and a half, so have fun with that. Um, the so South Carolina and Alabama is a, is a much easier argument to make. Like I, I will hear South Carolina and Alabama ones because South Carolina was on the road. The game was very close. That one, I, I think, is easier. Ole Miss went to Columbia and beat the crap out of South Carolina. That's the one team they do not want to be compared against. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I know you guys want them in, and it's your duty as fans of that team to try to argue that way in, but it's just at a certain point you got to lay your sword down because it just it's just not happening. So root for, root for Mississippi State. Listen, I was in Gainesville. I saw Ole Miss. I was in Jackson Dart's press conference. Like, that's a team I don't know. I don't know how they're going to get up off the mat. So Mississippi State hasn't won an SEC game all year, but I don't know what that what those teams are going to look like when they play in the Egg Bowl. So I'm I'm saying don't give up hope quite yet, South Carolina people. Not quite yet. Yeah, um, I don't like the the why is South Carolina twenty three percent to make it and Ole Miss six percent on ESPN. I, I don't understand if that's because true. like I don't. It's fake math that they don't have to explain. I'm telling you right now, if they're both nine and three and Ole Miss and South Carolina are compared head to head for the last spot, Ole Miss will get it. You do not want to be compared to them. You want to be compared to anyone else. Anyone else. Yeah. Well, also too, we have to take into account that Ole Miss will probably at the end of the year also have beaten the shit out of the SEC champion potentially. Like, like so... But you're well, not even yeah, you're talking this, about head to head this, records here. Yeah, but this like, scenario it doesn't is matter. assuming an AM SEC championship. It's more yeah. likely that the SEC champion is Georgia or Texas. But Georgia, having a win over Georgia is a, a more impressive resume bullet point if you want to criteria your way out of this. Like Ole Miss's resume is still better. So yeah. it's not it's not just gonna I think that like the head to head is what come it comes down to, like when you've used because isn't there like an order they're supposed to go in where, you know, they look at this, 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 and then head to head comes yeah. out play at the end. Of, you know, uh, I don't know if they actually go in that order, if it's just a cute way of like no. putting it in a handbook. But I think that that would be a relatively short conversation, guys. I know you don't want you don't want to hear that, but it, they would have a better resume. And yeah, they, they're, they're throwing all the these fancy stats at us. The only stat that's going to matter if that comparison happens is 27 to three. That's it. 